Okay, so question number seven, uh, one, a jar contains five red, seven green, six orange and five blue balls, okay? So if a single ball is drawn from the jar, so what is the probability of choosing five questions area people? So at first you have to write these things. This is 17, question number one, given a given given number of given number of red balls which is five okay so number of green green balls which is seven Number of orange, orange balls is what? Six and blue balls. Number of blue balls is five. Okay. So at first we write all the given things. So therefore, total number of total total number of Balls in the jar. This is equal to add five plus seven plus six plus five. So five plus five ten. Ten plus seven seventeen. Seventeen plus six twenty three. Okay. So where well, yes five seven twenty three. So these things at first you have to write. Okay. Now, what are they asking? They are asking that uh, what is the probability of suppose first one is one suppose you uh, collect a ball from that jar. What is the probability of choosing one red ball? So look at very carefully the pattern of writing. Okay, so left let E1 be the event be the event of choosing a red ball. That means whenever you choose a ball, that ball will be a red ball, that E1 with an event, okay? Choosing a red ball. That, that means E1 is actually choosing a red ball. But they are asking that what is the probability of getting a red ball. So therefore, P of E1. So, the denominator is what? Total number of possible cases, okay? So total number of possible cases, how many balls? 23, 23 yes, 5 plus 7, 12, 18 yes, 23 balls, okay, out of that 23 balls, one ball will be out of that 23 balls, okay, but they are asking that red ball, so number of favorable cases will be what, number of red balls, so how many red balls, 5, 5 plus 23, okay, so now come to the question number B, let E2 be the event of choosing a suppose a green ball okay so let e2 be an event of choosing a green ball so therefore so therefore probability of e2 Okay, so total number of balls are 23 possible cases, but how many green balls? 7. So it will be 7 by 23. Okay. So now come to the question number C. 1 blue ball. Okay. So let E3 be the event. Event of Choosing, choosing you can write getting also, choosing and not a one blue ball, a blue ball, okay, so they are for probability of E3, so how many of the number of balls, 23, and how many blue balls, 
5. So 5 by 22. Okay. Now question number D. Question number D asking that one non-red ball. So, okay. So let E4 be the event. Event of choosing choosing a non-red ball. Non-red ball means what? That ball may be blue ball, may be green ball, may be orange ball, okay? So option will be what? Lots of option will have, okay? So that means therefore probability of E4. So total number of option, total number of possibilities are 23. Okay? Non-red ball, that means that ball may be green may be orange may be blue so how many green seven how many orange six and how many blue five so seven six uh, 13 13 plus five 18 so it becomes 18 by 23 okay clear so now the last one so last one is what one orange bowl so let e5 be an event of choosing a green ball. So an orange ball. Okay, so therefore probability of E5 will be what total number of cases? 23 and how many orange ball? Six, so it will be six by twenty-three. Okay. So students, uh, the next teacher will start the question number two. Thank you.